What do you think of President Obama? Well, I think about him quite a lot. He, he makes one think, unlike some presidents. And one of the things he makes me think is, I wonder how he thinks. I give a lot to know. He appears to be quite cerebral, and he appears to set quite a lot of store by that feeling that he's not really fueled by the emotions, that he solves his problems with his mind, that he's mm -hmm. an intellectual. And I, I like that, and I like the evidence. You like that in a leader? Yes, but it can be a big disadvantage in that um, he sometimes gives me the impression that he thinks that a lot of important disagreements arise out of misunderstanding, cultural misunderstanding, say. Yeah. Um, in fact, since we're talking about it, Iran is one of the occasions where I, I worry about that. It's as if he feels that you know, our, our rather ragged and jagged history since the American interventions in Iran of the 50s and so forth. Um, the fact that we have different religions, um, that we have um, different culture, these explain the difference between us on things like the nuclear weapons or the export of And violence. what do you think explains the difference between us? A theocratic dictatorship in Iran Core beliefs. That wants to tyrannize and own the Iranian people, in fact, that does claim in its ideology that it is the owner, it is the parent of all the Iranian people. In other words, mm -hmm. a totalitarian system, which is fueled by this ambition, which is also in its constitution, to spread that idea and push outwards by the export of violence. In other words, a, re a regime with which a confrontation is inevitable. It's not, not to do with the fact that we don't fully understand the emotions of Shia Islam. Have you ever had a conversation with him? With the president? Yes. No. No, I know some of his, I've met some of his, his people, his associates. I think I know, I think I know the, I, the sort of politics that he exemplifies. I've read a lot of his stuff. I admire him as a writer, I have to say. I, I like his humor. I like the way that he's rather self-deprecating. He understands and he's been lucky. So on balance, you, your assessment of him, other than the fact that you like a thinking president, is what? that he's a possibly a very weak guy indeed. Really? Yeah. Weak guy indeed? Yes, because I think if you, if you wanted to maximize the likelihood of a bad outcome, I would say to double the, or ostensibly to double the number of troops in Afghanistan while announcing the date by which they'll start to withdraw probably would be the, the quickest way of ensuring that the Afghan population already begins to make other arrangements for itself, Has which don't include your continued presence in the country.